We were standing in the background just watching the audience. They were going wild for you. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. We've been DJing for 16 years, week in and week out. It's been totally manic. We've been circling the planet in all directions. It's kind of relentless. So, how many hours did you sleep last night? I think about none. It starts as a passion, and then it becomes a job. idea of taking the above and beyond songs, stripping them away and give it a musical character as if above and beyond acoustic were this band. Jono grew up learning the piano, Tony played guitar in a rock band and Pavo is an incredible pianist so why not enjoy the buzz of performing live in a band. From the first gig in Hackney to the Hollywood Bowl, we're sort of Trojan horsing our way into some of the world's great concert venues. This Hollywood Bowl show, this is our biggest above and beyond show ever. Nervous? Anyone? Never like yeah. how you guys feel before. Nervous. It's not your average venue. There's a general layer of intimidation. You want the musicianship to be up there. This acoustic show is understated and there's a lot of beauty in that side of it. But will it translate to a big venue like the Hollywood Bowl? When you're playing live, you're actually playing that bit of that song that those people are listening to right then, which is why I never wanted to be a bloody DJ. I think we've had this sort of pendulum of self-doubt. You know, why are we still making albums, doing gigs? It's because there's still a challenge there and it's still exciting. How could people who are used to hearing electronic music enjoy something like this? Going to the shows is actually become a really big part of my life. I call them life-affirming nights. Doing something that really challenges people's core beliefs about what we are and getting away with it is the ultimate.